Hi and welcome to my Python YouTube channel. It's awesome to have you here. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. I also have a blog at prospercoder.com with lots of cool stuff, so feel free to check it out. Today we'll see how to use the three basic transform operators in Python code in Blender. There are lots of transform operators, but we'll just stick to moving, rotating and scaling objects in both global and local coordinates. I'm going to keep it simple. Although each of the functions discussed below comes with a whole lot of optional parameters, I just use the most basic ones. Now, the first thing we want to do is to go to the scripting workspace and create a new script. We can also check the sidebar over here and make the font size 16 or something like that to make it more visible. Then we can just uncheck sidebar. Now the first thing we have to do is import the BPY module, which is the Blender Python module. Import BPY. So now the default cube should be selected. It already is. If it isn't, just select it. And this way all the operations will apply to this object. Now the functions that we can use to move, rotate and scale objects in Python are bpy.lps.transformTranslate to move, rotate to rotate and resize to scale. Fine. Let's discuss them one by one. First, we're going to use the global coordinates, which are the default ones. Let's start by translating the cube minus 4 units along the x-axis, so to the left, 2 units along the y-axis, and 5 units along the z-axis. Here's how we can do it in code. BPY OPS, so operators, transform, translate, and here we pass the value. Value equals, now x, y, and z, negative 4 units along the x-axis, 2 units along the y-axis, and 5 units along the z-axis. Now, let's zoom out to see it better over here. And now, if we run this script, you will notice the cube move in the 3D view. So watch the cube over here. Run script. It moved. To the left. Along the y-axis and up along the z-axis. Now let's comment out the last line of code because we don't want to move the cube again which would happen if you ran the script again. Now we want to scale the cube five times along the x-axis and three times along the z-axis. There should be no scaling along the y-axis so the y component will be set to 1. Now, in order to scale the cube, we need the following function BPY OPS transform resize. And now the value is a tuple again, five times along the x axis, no scaling along the y axis, so we must set it to 1 and 3 times along the z-axis. Now, if you run this code now, you will see the scaling taking effect. Finally, let's rotate the cube. Well, as far as rotating is concerned, the unit we use is radians. Before I show you how to use degrees instead, let's have a brief recap on how to use radians. To keep things short, a straight angle, so an angle of 180 degrees, 
is an angle of pi radians, where pi is the constant equal to about 3.14. So if you need to rotate your object 45 degrees, for example, which is one quarter of the straight angle, all you have to do is divide pi by 4, which will give you about 0 0.785. If you want to be very precise, such approximations may not be enough, so you may want to use the pi constant defined in the math module. If so, just input the math module by adding this line of code here in the import section. Import math. And now we can use it to rotate your object. So let's use it to rotate the cube 45 degrees, so pi over 4 radians, around the y-axis. Don't forget to comment out this line of code, because we don't want to run it again. And now, let's add the line of code which we need for rotation. So BPY OPS transform rotate value equals math.pi over 4 which corresponds to so this is in radians and it corresponds to 45 degrees and now along the y-axis so orient axis equals y. Fine, let's run this code. As you can see, this cube has been rotated. And now, as promised, I'll show you how to use degrees instead of radians. It's that simple. You also need the math module, which is over here, which happens to have the radians function. You can pass the angle in degrees as an argument to this function and it will convert it to radians for the internal use of the rotate function. So let's comment out the previous line of code and let's rotate the cube 45 degrees around the x-axis this time. So we can copy this part because it's the same. And now, value equals negative math point radians and the angle in degrees, 45 degrees. So this will change 45 degrees to the appropriate angle in radians. And now, orient axis equals x. Fine. Now watch the cube as I run the script. As you can see, it's been rotated 45 degrees around the x-axis. Good. All the transformations were in global space so far. Now let's see how to apply them in local space. All you have to do is pass the orient type keyword argument to the appropriate function and set it to local. So let's move the cube, or rather what has become of it so far, negative 15 units along its local y-axis. So comment out the previous line of code. And now type this line of code. BPY OPS transform translate now value equals zero negative 15 along the y-axis and zero along the z-axis and orient type equals local, all caps. 
Good. And now watch the cube. And if I run the script, it is translated along the y-axis, along its local y-axis, not the global one. And now let's scale the cube four times along its local y-axis. So again, comment out this line of code. Here is our code for resizing, scaling, so let's copy it. Fine, and now the value should be one, four, one. Now this one stands for the x-axis, so no scaling along the x-axis, no scaling along the z-axis, but here we have the factor of four. So scale the object four times along the y-axis. And again, orient type equals local. Fine. Now watch this cube again as I run the script. Fine. Now it's been scaled along its local y-axis. Finally, let's rotate the cube 60 degrees around its local z-axis. So again, don't forget to comment out this line of code. Now we can copy the code for rotating objects. And now let's rotate value equals math radians. And now we can use the angle in degrees, so 60 degrees around the x axis, so orient axis equals x in its local space, so orient type equals local. And let's run the script. As you can see, it's been rotated. So, as you can see, moving, rotating and scaling objects in Python is pretty straightforward. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.